Now I want to talk about constructors. Constructors, as I said, um, when creating objects, actually are, it's the line, the instruction that actually creates the object from the class. So let me pull up some slides here. Constructors, again, are methods, but they're special kinds of methods. And they're used, like I said, to create the object from the class. There are certain things about a constructor. They have a few special things. They're a method, but they're not normal methods. First off, the constructor has the same name as the class. So when I created the auto, um, auto class, my constructor would be called auto. It has the same exact name. Constructors have no return type, not even void. Constructors are all, now this is typically public, they have to be public, otherwise you couldn't create the objects from other classes. They don't return any values. Constructors are basically there to initialize, possibly set your attributes uh, for the class, for the object you're creating. They might do a few other things like if you were doing a game, they might generate a random number and use that for something. But constructors are there kind of to initialize the object to a specific state. Now if you looked at the uh, uh, rectangle, remember we looked at the rectangle um, class in the uh, last lessons video, a constructor for that may be something like this, public rectangle because the class name is a rectangle, the uh, constructor's name is a rectangle, no return type, and we're going to pass it a double for the length and a double for the width, and we're going to set these two. So this constructor is used to set the length and the width for the rectangle class. We can still have the attributes where we do set length, set width, and we can have the constructor. We can go either way. Why would I have both in there? Because we like to have our code reusable. And we don't always know every situation it's going to be used in. So we want to make it as versatile as can be. So in this case, I could set the length and the width through the constructor, or I can set the length and the width using the set length, set width um, mutators. Either way, it, it works. So let me go down a little bit. If you noticed, when we looked at the rectangle um, code originally, you didn't see a constructor. And that's because if I do not, as the programmer, create a constructor, it's automatic, automatically created for me in the background. So if I did not create one, it's automatically created for me. And it's the default constructor. Basically, um, it's just a rectangle, boom, parentheses, no parameters are set or passed. So Java provides a constructor if I don't create one. All objects in numeric fields are set to zero. Booleans are set to false. And objects reference variables such as strings are set to null. That's what the default constructor does. It has no parameters and it's just used to initialize uh, the object's attributes to a default condition. If I happen to write a constructor, the default constructor is no longer created. So if I write one, it's no longer there. So let's write a constructor for our auto class that we did last time. So we'll bring up NetBeans and I'll just write a very simple constructor. Okay, open project. Can't remember what I called it. Oh wait, before I do that, let's cancel that. Let's close this up. Okay. I think I called it like test or something like that, open project. OK, 
Okay. Nope, we didn't call it this, so let's look under. Create, there it is. Create Java class. Okay, so here's my auto class. So if I wanted to create a constructor, well, first, before I even create the constructor, let's create the a few of the uh, setters and getters. So public void, um, we'll say set make. And what we would pass is a make as a string. Looks like Milwaukee. And then we would say make equals MKE. Oops, would help if I put it in curly braces. So there's a set for make, uh, model, public. void set model again it's a string MDL and we would say model equals MDL and so on and so forth so let's put a constructor in here and so for the constructor what's the class name it's auto so it's gonna be public auto and what would I want to pass um, let's pass the make the model and the year so we'll pass the make model and year and so what we would have to do then is make equals mke model equals MDL and whoops uh, semicolon and year equals YR so let's go back to here and so now when I set auto because I don't have the default constructor anymore I have to put in a make model in here so I will say make will be Ford Explorer uh, 2020 so Ford Explorer okay gotta put them in double quotes so and so here I can even bring back um, which I haven't done it yet. So let's bring a uh, get for make and model. Public string get make. And we don't send anything. And that will be uh, return make. Whoops. And public string get model. Public string get model. Again, we're not going to send anything to it. We're just going to return model. Okay, send it on. Looks good. So let's just go over here. Go uh, model. And up here I'll put a string make model so I'll say model equals what did I call it car dot get model and make equals car dot get make and then we do system dot out dot print line the and we'll put in okay and we'll do make model now 
put a space in between. Model is traveling at and we'll put miles per hour. Okay. So it's gonna say the Ford Explorer is traveling at whatever. And we'll get rid of this one. So I'll just comment it out for now. Okay, uh, let's see, we got a little M I L E S, oh, it's capital P. Okay, so let's just run this. The Ford Explorer is traveling at 39.5 miles per hour. And so as you recall, we started at 34.4. And I could create another car too and do the same thing. Uh, another car object. I can say auto car equals new auto and this time well I make it I'll make it a Jeep Cherokee if I spelled that right and this will be a 2022 And I'm not going to call it car this time. I'm going to call it car 2. And again, same thing. I could do model equals car 2 dot get model make equals car 2 dot get make And we'll set the speed to, I don't know, we'll say miles per hour equals car two accelerate. And we'll set it to, I'll set it to 45.6 so it should come back at 50.6 and again we'll print out the whole thing so I'll just copy that print it out and we will run it the Ford Explorer is traveling at 39.5 the Jeep Cherokee is traveling at 50.6 so there I created two objects from the same class I use my constructor auto constructor I created a few accessors and mutators you can you probably should have some for each one of these uh, attributes and there's my class thanks for watching